for a quiz on lecture four, and we are now checking the answers. So the answer for question Y is conformance because it is basically the process and ability to meet the specifications of the product. On the second question, the answer is durability because durability is actually order qualifying attribute because a pro if a product doesn't have a demanded durability, it is not going to even qualify uh, in, the competi in the competitive market. So uh, it is the least relevant among the five um, in terms of order winning attributes. And this answer is false because I mentioned quality is a multi-dimensional concept with eight dimensions which we mentioned in our lecture. So unit dimension is definitely a false. And question four, quality is free is a little bit of exaggeration, but definitely the, um, the meaning behind is that investment in quality is compensated by market payback in the long term. So in the long term, quality may bring back sales, customer loyalty, customer perception, and hopefully can bring profits and revenues to cover the cost. And for the fifth question, the answer is false because external quality failure are actually more costly than internal quality failure. Actually, you should you should actually understand this because once a product is published into the market, it's definitely uh, there's no chance to turn back, and you're definitely wasting a lot of money in that point uh, in that scenario. So internal quality failure is better because you can still fix it and publish a well qualified product in the market. But external quality failure is when your product fails once it already published in the market. And uh. This, pro this is actually type 1 error because when um, the, this basically is actually in control state but it believes that it is out of control which means it's a type 1 error and type 2 error on the other hand is when it is out of control but you believe it is in control. So you should understand and maybe memorize, solidify your understanding on the relationship. And for this answer, the answer is B because B refers to current learning while you have a uh, assignable cost while well, there's a specific reasonable cost you are going to conduct current learning in this point of view. A is wrong because there's no continuous learning required as a point of view and uh, A is double loop learning oriented not really because since it's within your tolerance level it can be single loop learning as well depend and um, depend on situation and uh, the D answer is also wrong which means include implementation it is correct but you know which one is the least or always oh, least Okay, sorry, the answer is wrong here. Sorry, guys. So the actually answer is D. Because um, all four are correct. Continuous learning is actually correct. Um, double loop learning oriented is also correct. Current learning is correct. Implementation actually also correct because after you learn, you're going to implement the knowledge. And the last one is single loop learning only is wrong because B also involves double loop learning and it's definitely really important to tackle the root causes. So sorry for just now, continuous learning is correct because I mentioned before a learning con um, organization must continue its learning. They must um, identify and reflect from their knowledge. And the last question is both technical organizational dimensions, which are important major dimensions in total quality management. So this is the answer to quiz four and hope you um, check your answer and see how much you got. And I'll see you in lecture five.